So a new feature to XP Swim 2016 is that you can create a model using a default template. We happen to supply two default templates, one for Imperial units, one for metric units. So after you choose, make that choice, then this dialog comes up and it says, choose Imperial and metric and click OK. And hence your new model will be made from the template, which is the base or seed data that's going to be applied to it. You can edit that assignment of a template. Under the tools menu, there's uh, app, uh, application settings. And in the config section, uh, there is a default metric and default US templates. Of course, this is already filled in for you with the two templates that we provide, but we would actually encourage you to create your own templates. A template is very useful when you do uh, repetitive types of work or you do work in a common location. Why do I say location? Well, let's say you work for the city of Lexington, Kentucky. You do a lot of models there, or you are the city of Lexington, Kentucky, and of course all your models are within your city. You have design storms. So all your design storms can be part of a template. And then every time you start a new model, you start with a template or your default template and its seed information. So it makes all of your models more uniform. You know, you are supplying the new model with all kinds of base information that would be common. So let me um, talk a little bit about this feature and a little bit about the default templates uh, before I end this uh, webinar presentation. So under File, New, we have Create from Template. Uh, my dialog that I showed on the screen before was actually from the choice where you would start XP Swim or XP Storm 2016. You can see it in the banner. So here's the Create New using default template. So it's available here at the startup or, of course, once you're already in the software the same choice is available. So I'll choose continue and then the dialog that I mentioned pops up. Are you going to use Imperial or metric? So if I pick Imperial and click OK, then I can assign my new file name. So I don't know, I'll just call it my new file. If you don't put the .xp extension, it actually gets forced. And you can see, of course, in the title bar, my new file .xp. All of our databases have an XP extension. So what's in this template, for example? Well, if I go to the global database and I pick on, say, the rainfall, you know, SCS type 2 storms. Well, these are generic. SCS type 2, if I edit this, um, it's dimensionless up to one inch. So it's cumulative depth, 240 values every 0.1 hours, 0.1 hours. Well, let's say, again, I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, and let's say the five-year rainfall depth there is 3.2 inches. So I could put in 3.2 inches into my multiplier here, and now the area under the curve is 3.2 inches. If I simply, say, duplicate this record, I could give it a name like five-year, 24-hour, uh, type 2, and I will rename that record. So now it's quite specific, right? It's for a place like Lexington, Kentucky. Of course, many other things can be part of a template, like um, defaults, link defaults, link data defaults, circular shape as a default. Perhaps you'd like a default uh, roughness value you could go in and you could start customizing your own template to include, say, conduit data roughness. And maybe you'd like to use 0.013. That's pretty common. You notice it was 0.014, right? So the XP swim out of the box default roughness is 0.014. You want 0.013, feel free to update this. Click OK. Or any other item that you want to make as a property. Then you have the ability to create your own template. So this model that you have, my new file, you could save it as a template. 
uh, right, it's going to be right here in this my new file XP template. Uh, I'll click the OK button. So I've made a template. This message is verifying that. I created a template. Now, if I would like, for example, to change the default template for the program, I can go to Application Settings under the Tools menu to the Config section. Here's the default template. And I just have to change or update this path to the new template that I would like it to use. But out of the box, right, we ship a metric template and also a default US template. The template is somewhat complete. You know, we did a little bit of work on in 2016 and making the, for example, several default land uses for 2D modeling as part of the default template. But of course, if you've got your own standards, then feel free to uh, create your own template as I've done so, and then change this reference to it. And then you might say, well, there's instances where the default template just doesn't apply. I need to use another template. That's fine, because you can start from any template or the default template. But you'll notice the default template, for example, it's got even a keyboard shortcut, Control T, and you just quickly create new models with the default template. So anytime you've got a whole series of models to build and they all have something in common, I would encourage you to use the template. And if you are a government entity, you know, I would encourage you to create a template and then that would be the template that you would have all your consultants use so that there's some standardization in the models that you're going to receive and it's not everybody to figure out what the storms are, what the roughness values that should be used, etc., or any other uh, appropriate item for a template.